Today I'm gonna do for you a breakfast thing. It's Aki and saltfish. And the Aki has been cooked down into some pimento, scotch bunny pepper, green onion, and thyme. That gives it a really nice flavor. So what I'll do for the saltfish, I uh, already boil the saltfish into cold fresh water to extract some of the salt. So they actually can saltfish have a nice flavor. I usually put that saltfish that is already boiled off some of the salt into the pot with the ackee. And leave it there to cook and that flavor, salty nice flavor will come off into your ackee. All right, there's a bread fruit already baked. I'm preparing them to serve with the ackee. I'm also gonna be serving with the ackee some kalaloo, green kalaloo. So the color now is being um, washed off, soaked into salt water, and I'm gonna cut that up. Right? And also I've prepared my um, onion, scallion. I don't have any green on, green sweet pepper, so I have here yellow sweet pepper and red sweet pepper, and my garlic, and I got here my tomato, and I got my onion. Onion, so I'll be right back to show you. Well, I'm gonna combine my dishes when they are ready to be combined after the ackee is cooked properly. Then I'll come back and I show you how I do my combination. I'm gonna cut my color up in the meantime and the ackee will stay and boil. Stay tuned, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment in the drop down box. And share with somebody. Jamaican breakfast cook up time. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm um, so welcome back to my breakfast dish. Steam coloring saltfish and ackee and saltfish. Okay, earlier on I show you how I prepare the ackee and I boil the salt out of the saltfish. Now I'm ready to combine. I also show you my kalaloo that was already cut up. All right. So I got my saltfish that's already soaked out. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting some off, put some flame back on this fire. I didn't want the season to be burned, so I'm gonna put in back my um, season. Okay, so in this um, pot, I'm gonna be putting out the nature's nature's meat season. Pot for the um, I can salt. Just gonna turn the flames down. You don't want your vegetables to be burning. Now this pot is for the um, kalaloo. And I'm putting it in my black pepper and some of the nature seed. And in the kalaloo pot, I'm putting a portion of the salt fish. And in the um, pot for the ackee, I'm putting a portion of the salt fish. All right? Okay, so I'm gonna be stirring that up a little bit. Both pots here and simultaneous pasta. Okay, this is for the color I'm gonna be putting some persons cook color and put the vegetable up top. Now if you really want a nice flavoring of color, you put the vegetables on after you have cooked down season. So you're gonna be putting that in a low flame and cover that. Now for the ackee, I'm ready to season up the black pepper. It depends on how much black pepper you want. Some persons like a lot of black pepper. I could take a little more. And so I'm gonna be, I got my the water strain off of the ackee. Now I'm gonna add in the ackee. Adding the ackee, just tearing that in. You see? Sorry, we should have some more green in this, but I do not have any green sweet pepper. It's a really nice. Some persons don't like to put tomato into their ackee and saltfish, because tomato have a tendency to spring water. But if you're gonna be eating it right away, that's okay. All right? I'm gonna just leave that in a really low flame and let it simmer. 
and all of this is co coconut oil. Remember, Carl's Kitchen, we only use coconut oil. It's healthier for you and better. And here's my fried bread fruit. Remember earlier I showed you that I'm going to be um, serving this with fried bread fruit. Or the baked bread fruit that just came out of the oven. You don't have to fry it. You don't want to. Like a lot of persons, I just do the frying for my display. But I'm going to have my serving with the baked bread fruit straight from the oven. To avoid too much oil. So there you have it. I'll be right back to show you what the finished the product looks like on the plate. So I'm going to be opening up the palalu and I'm going to be turning it over because remember now, palalu does take a lot of a lot of um, cooking. You don't want your vegetables to be overcooked and cook up that nutrients. So green that looks. Wow, that is going to be tasting really good. And you don't need much salt in your kalalu because the, um, the salt fish is already salty. So for, like me, I don't do a lot of salt. And the aki is already cooked down with the salt fish flavor. So here you have it. And all right now, gotta go moving really fast here. So let that stay in my minutes. I'm gonna put that on a smaller flame. Okay, put that on a smaller flame. Take it out of a big flame. Alright, so it takes time. Here's my breakfast. Oh, I'm almost done. To my viewers, this is a Jamaican breakfast. Breakfast season is now high in the country where I'm living. But unfortunately, the Grace Hurricane just took down a lot of the trees. So I'm making use of what I can find. This is a salvage breakfast of the Grace. Grace, bad storm that just overtake us here in the Cayman Islands. So I'll be right back to show you what the plate looks like. Oh, the Aki is now, yes, the Madame Nice. And turn this off as well. All right, thank you for watching. I'll be right back to your plate to serve your breakfast. Welcome back. Here you have it. Breakfast is served. I can solve fish. And kalalu and saltfish and fry breadfruit. And if you don't want to fry your breadfruit, you could serve it just as it came out the oven. So here you have it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. The Carl's Kitchen.